Hi, uh, this is a quick follow-up concerning this repeat cycle timer. I have already cut uh, all around here. So let's see what is inside uh, this stuff. Okay, so I think this thing will be very difficult uh, to open. Okay, it seems we have uh, several ICs. I did not expect it to find uh, such electronic things inside. I thought it was just a motor, but... Actually, I cut the PCB here, that's a pity, so this will not work anymore. So we have several ICs. MC776. They are identical, it seems. This thing seems interesting. Look at that. Ok, so this was just a dissipator for this transistor to N2270. This thing is maybe a thermistor. Yes, you can see. There is another transistor here. And there is another board, the last one. So let's see what do we have inside this small box. This thing has four terminals. Look at that. It seems that there is a magnet. I think that this is an oscillator. There is a maybe a mechanical resonance of this thing. So I have succeeded to clean the boards. This one actually is the oscillator board. And this one is a power supply and the output stage board with the current limiting function and the last one which has actually 6 MC776 these parts are actually dual JK flip-flop so this board permits to have a division by 2048 so let's take a look on the schematic This is the oscillator board. There is one sense coil and one excitation coil here. So the excitation coil is connected between the power supply and the collector of this transistor. So the output is here. So the AC voltage is fed to the base of this transistor through this RC network. And this gives the resonant frequency of this system. The sense coil is connected to this amplifier which is made with these two transistors. There is an automatic polarization on this amplifier. The DC current which flows through the excitation coil flows into this transistor and returns to the ground through this resistor. So the voltage which is created across this resistor is actually the DC base voltage of this transistor. So if the voltage across this resistor is above 0.7 volt approximately, this transistor will be more conductive and this will reduce the base voltage and the current is reduced. So at the end there is a DC current here and the value is approximately 0.7 volt divided by this resistor. The power supply board is here, so there is nothing special. 
the power supply voltage is here. There is a protection diode against the polarity reversal. So there is a regulated power supply here. I don't know the value of this inner diode, maybe 10 volts or something like that. This input is connected to the divider board. This is a square wave. I think that the frequency is 1 Hz. Anyway, the frequency is small. You can see the filter here with this resistor and this capacitor. So this gives a time constant of 25 milliseconds approximately. This transistor permits to turn on or off this PNP transistor and the collector is the output. So when the current is too high, this PNP transistor turns off and this permits to have a high level here. This terminal is connected also to the divider board. So I think that when there is a high level here, the GK flip-flops are all in reset state and this permits to have zero here and the output here is off in that case. As you can see, there is a thermistor which permits the compensation of the variation with temperature of the threshold voltage of this transistor. So this is a nice attention to details. So I have connected this board to a power supply, which is here. So the voltage is set for the moment at 9.6 volts approximately, but you can change. So I have connected also the output uh, to this oscilloscope. I have added a pull-up, which is soldered here, a 1K pull-up from the power supply to the output because on these schematics the output is an open collector so you have added 1k here so there should be a square wave at this output ok so let's turn on the power supply as you can see there is a rectangular signal at the output and something interesting is the resonant frequency of this thing I don't know if you can see on the oscilloscope 2.048 kHz So you can see that the frequency is very accurate. So this permits to have at the output of the divider a frequency of 1 Hz. So at maximum there are 12 GK flip-flop which permits to have a division of 2 power 12. It is very surprising to think that 60 years after the frequency is still accurate. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video concerning this vintage time base based on the mechanical oscillation. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.